If you see a person suddenly lose consciousness, become unresponsive, and not breathing, what could you do? You can put into action the American Heart Association's chain of survival and use the iPad NF1200. The iPad NF1200 was developed by CU Medical Systems Incorporated, primarily for the usage of lay responders in public places where sudden cardiac arrest is most likely to happen. Its compact design, portability and easy to follow interface enable even untrained lay responders to deliver life-saving defibrillation shocks. Now, what can you do if you are on the scene of a sudden cardiac arrest? Activate the American Heart Association's chain of survival. The links in the chain are first. Confirm the emergency by checking the victim for response. If the victim does not respond to a tap on the shoulders, immediately call 911 and get the iPad NF1200. Second, administer CPR. Push the chest of the victim hard and fast 30 times, then immediately open the airway by tilting the victim's head. Give two breaths, then repeat the compression and breathing cycle five times. Attach pad. Third, remove the patient's clothing. Then turn on the iPad NF1200 and then attach the pads to the patient. Attach pad. Attach pad. Attach pad. Attach pad. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Stand clear when prompted to stand clear. Shock advised. Stand clear. Press the flashing orange button now. Delivery shock now. Press the shock button if prompted to do so. Shock delivered. Begin CPR now. Push the chest down fast two inches. Give two breaths. Breathe. When prompted to begin CPR, begin CPR and follow the voice prompts of the iPad until 911 or EMS personnel arrive to take over. With the step-by-step -step and calm voice prompts, I am sure that you will have the confidence to save a life. Portable and lightweight, the iPad NF1200 should be installed in public places such as airports, train stations, stadiums, malls, and others so that immediate defibrillation shocks could be delivered to victims of sudden cardiac arrest. When you are on the scene of a sudden cardiac arrest, do not hesitate. Call 911, then get an AED. You would be more effective in saving lives if you are trained on how to use an AED and do CPR. 1. Get trained on how to use an AED and do CPR. 2. Get trained on basic life support. 3. Familiarize yourself with the locations of public access AEDs. With this video, you are now capable of responding to emergencies involving sudden cardiac arrest. Remember, you have to be prepared for emergencies, and with the iPad NF1200, you have the right tool for saving lives anytime, anywhere. iPad NF1200 with Institutional AED Management. 
for institutional users who want to deploy a number of AEDs across remote and widely spread dispersed facilities. The iPad NF1200 can be fitted with optional remote communications module for ease of rescue and maintenance management. There are three features to keep AED available, ready, reliable for emergencies. Features 1. Immediate response to save lives. Automatic emergency call and short message, SMS to administrator. When the iPad NF1200 is used to respond to an emergency, a call is automatically made to the administrator without any intervention from the first responder. The call is initiated when the iPad NF1200 detects that its pads are attached to a patient. The call uses recorded voice messages from a central server. Aside from the voice call, a short message is also simultaneously sent to the administrator. This feature ensures that Emergency Medical Services EMS, is always alerted and activated during a sudden cardiac arrest emergency. As the first responder does not need to make a call for EMS, he or she can devote more of the precious first few minutes after a sudden cardiac arrest episode to resuscitating the victim. Features 2. Beep Alarm Continued Theft Detection Deploying AEDs in public areas raises the issue of device theft. Accessibility does not only ensure that the device can be readily used in emergencies, it also exposes the device to theft and vandalism. The iPad NF1200 can be fitted with an optional motion detector that detects movement of the device. If the device is being moved, an attachment of the device defibrillation pads is not sensed, then a possible theft is underway. This is reported to the administrator who may then alert authorities to prevent device theft. Features 3. Maintenance expenses reduced. Real-time maintenance management capability. The iPad NF1200 conducts automated daily, weekly and monthly tests to verify the functionality of its subsystems. When the iPad NF1200 is fitted with the optional remote communications module, the iPad NF1200 transmits to the administrator the results of all weekly tests. This is done whether there is an error detected during the weekly test or not. During daily and monthly tests, if an error is detected, the error description is transmitted right away to the administrator. The daily tests includes checking the state of the device battery pack. Thus, the administrator can fully maximize the availability of the devices deployed in the field for use in responding to emergencies. Maintenance Methods The iPad NF1200 is very easy to maintain. Check the battery pack for expiration. Check the pads for expiration. How to insert battery pack. To do a comprehensive system test, uninstall then reinstall the battery pack. Follow the voice prompts for testing the device buttons. Press the flashing orange button now. Press the flashing blue I button. Check the status of the state LED. If it is blinking in green, it is ready for use. Important! Maintenance to ensure that the iPad NF1200 is always ready for emergencies. Check every day that the state LED is blinking in green and that the pads are not expired. 